Hello, everybody. My name is Rafael Andaverde, and I'm a doctoral student at The Ohio State University. I'm excited to present my study, A Communication Crisis, a case study of the video milk milk tanks in Latin America and the Caribbean. I had the opportunity to work in this research study with Dr. Joy Rumble and Dr. Annie Specht. Uh, the dairy industry in Latin America provides uh, contributions to the economic development of the region, but also uh, reduce hunger and improve the food insecurity situation. Whoever messages about like the negative effects of the dairy industry has been changing the consuming uh, parts and improving uh, the market for other substitute products. One of these messages is this the video Milk No Thanks um, released through YouTube in 2019 and were um, in which uh, artists and athletes were uh, disseminating negative, uh, negative characteristics of the dairy industry. Um, for this research study, we used two uh, theoretical frameworks. First, uh, proposed by Fern Banks in 2016, communication crisis theoretical framework, which is basically telling us that a communication crisis, it's a dialogue between the audience and uh, the entity before, during, and after the negative uh, event. And we also use the relational crisis management model, which is a holistic view of all the elements and strategies used during a crisis communication. Um, the purpose of this research project was to study the communication crisis in the Latin American dairy industry due to the video milk no thanks in 2019. We proposed four research questions. Number one, uh, we wanted to understand and identify the, the messages portraying in the video. Uh, and number two, like we wanted to understand the media response. Question number three, the agricultural industry response to the video. And question number four, how this phenomenon can be uh, compared with the um, relational crisis management model. Um, for research question one and part of research question two, we did a qualitative content analysis of the video and a media responses. And for research question two, we also did a social media analysis with the Medwater software. Uh, for research question three, we interviewed three uh, dairy industry experts and three uh, business owners from Latin America. And we use, you know, like all uh, the procedures of qualitative research. And number, in research question number four, we compared this phenomenon with uh, the relational crisis management model. The results for question one are basically four teams where the principal ones uh, then were being disseminated by the video. Uh, the first one is environmental issues, especially talking about water. Um, the video emphasized the amount of water that the dairy industry, dairy industry is using to produce milk and dairy products is having an impact on the natural resources. Uh, the second team was uh, human health, and they used multiple arguments supporting that the uh, milk, uh, cow's milk is not healthy for humans. Uh, one of the quotes is scientific studies show that when you drink cow's milk, you increase the risk of contracting diseases. Um, the number three is animal welfare. And as you know, this is the top one when we try to uh, argument against the dairy industry. They portray multiple uh, um, cows in different farms where the animal welfare conditions are not married and where the animals are not treated appropriately. Then substitute products, the video offer options for consumers to substitute dairy products in their diet. On question number two and the media response, the supporting materials that we analyzed were um, supporting the message and argument in more details and more information about how these video uh, messages were true. The contradictory materials uh, were spreading messages uh, as denial, shifting the blame, and evasion of responsibility. And, were, and they were criticizing the messages that the video was uh, disseminating. Um, the social media analysis show us that the majority of the responses in social media have a neutral sentiment, and the majority were on the main, in the first couple of days after the video release and were coming specifically from Mexico. Um, how the dairy industry or the agricultural industry respond to the video. The video generates multiple reactions among our participants, including concern, laughter, and frustration. Participants acknowledge that the celebrity um, feature made it easier for the video speaker to spread a wrong message about the dairy industry. And despite the acknowledge the video reached many people, the interviews ruled it out the impact the video had on the consumption pattern of milk and dairy products. When we compare this phenomenon with the um, relational crisis management model, um, well, we can 
conclude that there is not a communication crisis. However, there are no actions aimed at educating consumers, and there is no evidence of prevention plans to handle a communication crisis. The lack of core and communication crisis management plans has reinforced the low investment in constant preparation of entities and professional in communication crisis management. As a conclusion and recommendations, the multiple data formats analyzing these studies suggest on the video, Milk Not Tanks did not create um, a communication crisis for the dairy industry in Latin America. Some economic variables characteristic of this locality uh, are prioritized by consumers when they, when they think about their necessities, like uh, poverty, hunger, before animal welfare and natural resources. Um, this study contributes to the limited research on communication crisis in the Latin American region and open a wide variety of options to keep doing research in this area. Professionals should implement communication crisis plans and promote the development of academic and human capital in this discipline of study. Researchers should explore other events in the same context of this study that has potentially generated a communication crisis in agricultural productor sectors. These kind of research studies are going to strain the agricultural sector in Latin America, and we can educate uh, consumers to make better choices. Um, these are the reference of this study, and I want to thank you for stopping by my presentation, and I want to thank Dr. Rumble and Dr. Speck for helping me conducting this research. Uh, there is my email in case you have any question that I cannot address here. And thank you so much.